Good evening, I'm Mary Nelson in for Vanessa tonight. Strong, resilient and positioned for unprecedented growth. Those words from today's State of the City Address. Omaha Mayor Gene Stothard said 2022 will be the year of recovery and reinvestment after two difficult years. 3 News Now reporter Alyssa Curtis shares the mayor's plan to correct what she sees as the city's biggest issues. Omaha is positioned for unprecedented growth in population, employment, reputation, and world-class initiatives. In Tuesday's State of the City Address, Mayor Stother said one of the greatest challenges right now is labor and inflation. We have to do and have the amenities that people are looking for. We have to look at, you know, trans everything, transportation, housing, affordable housing, workforce housing. We have to look at open spaces. We have to look at entertainment. We have to look at education. We have to look at jobs. The Urban Core Housing and Mobility Plan, as well as UNMC's Project Next, are two of the main projects that will address job and population growth. Mayor Stothart says Project Next will create 41,000 construction jobs and 8,700 permanent jobs. The economic impact is expected to be above $1 billion a year. Although those projects are huge undertakings and won't be completed for a few years, Mayor Stothart says some of those benefits will actually be seen more immediately. It's not going to take 10 years or more for a lot of these. You know, for example, um, Mutual of Omaha's tower and the streetcar, it's, it's an aggressive schedule, but we plan right now for those to be done in 2026. That's, that's not a long time from now. Assistance for the hotel industry will also generate money for the city after two years of canceled events. We felt like it was very important. It's over a billion dollar industry for the city of Omaha, bringing in people and um, in, in, in spending in Omaha. So we wanted to help them get back on their feet. But Mayor Stother says the city of Omaha is showing signs of a strong economy, saying she won't need to use the voter approved tax levy increase this year or next. In addition to the economy, it was also important for her to address community needs with ARPA funding. And it's urgent. You know, there's a lot of people, especially with the ERAP, with emergency rental assistance, with utilities, mental health, um, there was the needs out there in our community were so great. The city will receive the remaining half soon, most of which she says will go to nonprofits for basic needs like food, housing programs for the homeless and mental health services. Reporting in Omaha, Alyssa Curtis, 3 News Now. Mayor Stothard also talked about public safety today. She says the city's heading in the right direction and keeping violent crime numbers down. There have been six homicides around the city this year. Public safety is still our primary responsibility. Like nearly all major cities, Omaha experienced a spike in overall crime as the pandemic started in 2020. Despite that, the number of violent crimes and homicide rate dropped last year. She says citizen complaints against Omaha police officers and internal affairs investigations are the lowest they've been in several years. Adding the city wants to expand the mental health diversion program and restorative justice program.